2014 was the year. I remember it very vividly. I got a letter from the landlord. We were actually renting a house. A couple of months. I, I think it was uh, just two years prior. Two years prior to 2014. I had been working for Sears. Sears Home Improvements. And I had been working for them for probably about 11 years. I remember I used to take the white truck had Sears plaster all over it. 1-800-SEARS. And I would drive that thing up and hide it. I'd try to hide it in the parking lots up there in the casinos, wherever I was. If it was in Jackson or uh, if wherever I was, uh, Fresno, we would be, or in the Bay Area. And so I, we, we got the letter. We, we ended up having, we got kicked out of our home house that we have been in, I don't know, six years, seven years, really nice place, nice area in Manteca, California, and we ended up homeless, sometime, I don't remember the exact date, I don't, I try not to, <laughs> sometimes it's good to keep track on dates, but sometimes it's probably best not to keep track of dates, I think what's really important is that you, you keep track of your progress, Make sure that your progress is moving forward. That's what's really important. Nevertheless, in 2014, I hit rock bottom. Five months. I think it was five, six months that we were, we, we went to, uh, we stayed in hotels. We had help. We got help. And I ended up, I ended up getting a job. I was making decent money. That The 11 year career is gone. I started working at Home Depot. It's pretty humbling. I worked. You know, you're making five, about five, fifty-five hundred dollars a month, and then you're making three thousand. Not even three thousand, about twenty-five hundred a month. Uh, it's pretty humbling. But then again, when I'm making fifty-five hundred dollars a month, most of that was going right into the casinos, sadly. And we ended up in a shelter. I remember we went to, from the hotel, we went to the, to one shelter, and then we got kicked out. We got kicked out of the shelter because I'm not going to say why. And finally, I, you know, I, I had to humble myself. Man, this was a very difficult experience for me. It was a difficult experience, but it was also a blessing in my life in disguise. If I wouldn't hit rock bottom in 2014, who knows what, a, what would have happened to me. I wouldn't be here in front of this video, I'll tell you that much. I wouldn't be here in front of this video. And I'm not going to keep this video too long. Just, to, just, sharing, just sharing with you where I've come from, man. So people can say, you know, well, you've got self-talk going on. You've got a positive attitude and you make your day super fantastic, terrific and over the top every day. And how can you relate to me, man? I'm in the casino three days a week. My marriage is hemorrhaging. My business is hemorrhaging. I've, I've had a, so many losses already. Oh, I can relate. And uh, let's go on a little bit more. I ended up calling the Veterans Administration because I'm a VA. I'm a veteran, eight-year veteran, U.S. Navy veteran. And I went through some classes. I went through some counseling, and they helped me. They helped me get back on my feet. They help my my family. I'm very very grateful uh, for the Veterans Administration because they picked up the tap for me to get help back then. And I believe that if it wasn't for the VA, well, well, the VA did something very very big. Provided they helped me get into a home, they provided income. I mean, it was a big deal for us back then after losing everything. And from there, what, what did I do? I began to just search videos. I began, I, actually, I've been on YouTube for long, even while I was gambling, because I was watching videos. I remember I would watch these videos. Quebec, I remember this one guy, uh, Rebeck, his name's Rebeck. And he had a program, and I would watch that program over and over. It was a six seven minute videos uh, a guy from Canada I'd be Quebec 
uh, and the the name of it's still on YouTube. Rebeck. He has to do with count, uh, addiction and uh, gambling and stuff like that. So that was my start, and I didn't give up. I made a vow with myself back in 2014. I didn't. I didn't get through. I struggled 2015, 2016. I struggled. It wasn't. I don't remember the exact date when my mind shifted, but it was sometime in 2018, 2017, 2018, when I started experiencing a shift in my mind, and I knew I'm on to something. I'm on to something with what I'm doing. All the journaling, in particular, it was journaling that was really, really helping me. I wasn't all that great with self talk and. Um, visualization and all those kinds of things but I just kept pumping 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 information into my head I would force myself literally and I got myself free that's nah, just part of my story I wanted to share with you and I hope that you'll walk away with something I'm here to support you my friend I'm here for you I'm in the trenches with you I fight daily so don't feel like you're by yourself Soldier scribe, invite a friend if you know somebody that's struggling. A thumbs up, a comment, reach out to me over at soldiersofselfmastery.com, the world's number one problem gambling interventionist. Let's stop the hemorrhaging today, right now. I'll see you at the top on the inside of my next one.